Imagine a weapon so smart it can change its mind in midair. This isn't science fiction, this is real, and it has changed warfare forever. Today, we're going inside one of the most intelligent missile systems ever built. We will break down how it works, why it's so feared, and what makes it different from any weapon that came before it. This is a story of technology, precision, and a new kind of power on the battlefield. For most of history, hitting a target was about luck and simple aim. You pointed a cannon and hoped for the best. Then guided missiles came along. They could steer towards a target. But the real revolution began when missiles learned to see. This is the story of that revolution. We are talking about a family of missiles known for their sharp accuracy. They are called the Spike family. Think of them not as a single weapon, but as a toolbox. Inside this toolbox are different missiles for different jobs. Some are for a soldier on foot. Others are for a helicopter pilot. Some are for a crew in a vehicle. They all share one family trait, a brilliant mind. Let's start with the simplest question. What does it do? Its main job is to destroy armored vehicles, especially tanks. A tank is a rolling fortress. Its front armor is incredibly thick. Attacking it from the front is like trying to punch through a brick wall with your fist. It's nearly impossible. So this missile had to get smart. It had to find a better way. The answer was to attack from above. Where is a tank most vulnerable? Its roof. The armor on top is thin, like the roof of a car. This missile does something amazing. It flies high into the air like a bird of prey. It looks down, finds the tank, and then plunges straight down onto its weak spot. This is called a top attack. It's a game changer. It means the strongest tank in the world can be defeated by a weapon fired from miles away. But how does it know where to go? This is where the magic happens. The missile has a seeker head. Think of this as its eyes and brain. This seeker is a sophisticated camera that can see in different ways. It can see regular light, like a normal camera. It can also see heat. Since the tank's engine is very hot, it glows brightly in the missile's heat vision. This makes it almost impossible to hide. Now let's talk about the most incredible feature. The missile can be controlled after it is fired. This might be its most important trick. It has two main modes. The first is called Fire and Forget. In this mode, the soldier points the missile at the target, locks on, and fires. The missile remembers the target and guides itself all the way there. The soldier can then pack up and move to a new position immediately. This keeps them safe. The second mode is called Man in the Loop. This is where it gets truly fascinating. In this mode, the missile is connected to the soldier by a thin wire or a secure radio link. As the missile flies, it sends a live video feed back to the soldier's screen. The soldier literally sees what the missile sees. Why is this so powerful? Because the battlefield changes fast. Imagine a soldier fires at a tank, but just after launch, the tank moves behind a building. Or even worse, a civilian car drives into the area. With an old missile, it would be too late. The missile would hit the wrong thing. But with this system, the soldier watching the screen can see this happen. They can then steer the missile away from the civilian car. They can guide it around the building and still hit the moving tank. They can even call off the attack entirely if the situation changes. This is not just a weapon, it's a precision tool. It gives the soldier a level of control that was unimaginable just a generation ago. This saves lives and makes sure the right target is hit. This ability makes the missile perfect for today's complex battles. Many fights happen in cities where friends and enemies are close together. You can't just fire a big, dumb rocket into a neighborhood. The risk is too high. You need a scalpel, not a sledgehammer. This missile is that scalpel. Now let's look at the different members of this missile family. They are designed for every possible situation. First, there is the short-range version. It's small and light. A single soldier can carry it and fire it from their shoulder. It's perfect for a close-range fight in a city or a dense forest. Its range is a few kilometers. It's like a sniper rifle for taking out armored vehicles at short distances. 
Next is the medium range version. This one has more power and a longer reach. It can hit targets several kilometers away. It's often mounted on a light vehicle, giving a small unit a huge punch. This allows a small team to control a large area of the battlefield. Then we have the long range version. This missile is a true long distance expert. It can strike targets from over 25 kilometers away. To understand that distance, imagine being able to stand in one town and hit a target in the next town over. The people firing the missile are so far away, they are completely safe from retaliation. This is a huge psychological advantage. Finally, there is the extended range version. This is the heavyweight champion. It can be launched from helicopters or ships. It can fly incredible distances, taking out high value targets deep behind enemy lines. It's used for the most important and dangerous missions. So you have a family of weapons that can be used by anyone, anywhere, from a soldier in a ditch to a pilot in the sky. They all have access to the same smart technology. But what happens when the enemy tries to fight back? Modern armies have systems designed to trick missiles. They are called countermeasures. They might launch flares, which are super hot to distract a heat-seeking missile. Or they might use electronic jammers to block the missile's radio signals. This missile is built to beat those systems. Its brain is smart enough to tell the difference between a tank and a flare. Its algorithms, its set of rules for thinking, are designed to ignore these tricks and stay locked on to the real target. The data link that connects it to the soldier is also very secure. It's like having a secret unbreakable radio channel. The enemy can't hack it or jam it easily. This makes the missile very reliable even against a high-tech enemy. Now let's talk about the final moment, the impact. A smart missile needs a smart warhead. The warhead is the part that explodes. For a tank, you need a special kind of explosion. Many modern tanks have something called reactive armor. These are small boxes of explosives placed on the outside of the tank. When a missile hits them, they explode outward to block the missile's explosion. To beat this, the missile uses a tandem warhead. Think of it as a one-two punch. The first, smaller charge hits the reactive armor and makes it explode. That clears a path. A microsecond later, the second larger charge shoots through that same spot and penetrates the tank's main armor. It's a brilliant and devastating solution. For other targets, like a building or a group of enemy soldiers, the missile can use a different warhead that creates a wide blast of fragments. This makes it a versatile weapon for many different types of targets. Of course, a tool is only as good as the person using it. Training with this system is intense. Soldiers don't just learn to point and shoot. They spend hours in simulators, which are like very advanced video games. They practice making difficult decisions in the man-in-the-loop mode. They learn to guide the missile through virtual cities and avoid virtual civilians. This training builds muscle memory and confidence, so when they are in a real fight, they know exactly what to do. This missile system is not just a theory, it has been proven in real combat. It is used by dozens of countries around the world. Their armies report that it is incredibly accurate. It has been used to hit moving targets in dust storms, in the rain, and in the dead of night. Its success on the real battlefield is what has made it so famous and so feared. When an enemy commander knows that the other side has these missiles, they have to change their entire plan. They can't just rely on their heavy tanks to push forward. Those tanks become vulnerable. This gives a huge advantage to the side with the smarter weapon. It's what military experts call a force multiplier. A small, well-equipped unit can defeat a much larger force because of the technology they carry. In conclusion, what makes this missile system so special is not just one thing. It's the combination of many brilliant ideas. It's the flexibility of having a family of missiles for every situation. It's the intelligence of the seeker that can see in heat and light. It's the revolutionary man-in-the-loop control that allows for last-second changes. It's the top attack profile that hits a tank where it hurts the most. It's the tandem warhead that punches through advanced armor. And it's the secure link that resists the enemy's best tricks. This missile represents a fundamental shift in warfare. Power is no longer just about size and strength. It is about information, precision, and control. It's about having a weapon that can see, think, and adapt. 
It has set a new standard for what a guided weapon can be, and its influence will be felt for decades to come. This is the reality of modern defense technology. It's complex, it's powerful, and it's real. If you found this deep dive into the world of smart missiles interesting, if you learned something new today, then please support our channel, give this video a like, and subscribe to Winds of Thought for more content that explores the technology shaping our world. We put a lot of effort into making these explanations clear and understandable for everyone. We would love to hear from you in the comments. What other advanced technologies would you like us to explore next? A different weapon system? space technology? Let us know. Your input helps guide our future videos. Thanks for watching.